What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's Ioana here, founder and CEO of Supwell, where we help runners chase their goals. And today I wanted to dive into a topic which is near and dear to my heart, which has to do with the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. I've seen a lot of rumblings online about Saucony potentially killing off the Endorphin Shift 3. Now, this is one of my favorite running shoes of all time, so I wanted to make a little plea to Saucony about why not to kill the Endorphin Shift, even though you do have a great new shoe in the Convara Pro. Let's get into it. First, some quick background on the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. So the Endorphin Shift came out a few years ago as the everyday running shoe, the easy running shoe, and the walking shoe in that Saucony Endorphin lineup. You have the Pro, which is sitting at the top of that lineup as that racing option, and the Speed, which is that faster daily option and that up-tempo option. Now, the Shift is supposed to be that high mileage eater, that one that you can pull for every day. It's a really comfortable, supportive, durable platform. So why would Saucony kill the Shift? That's because they just dropped the Convara Pro, which takes what they've done with the shift and modernizes it a little bit. So in the Convara Pro, you have the same bottom layer of power run, but instead of using a full bed of this firmer EVA foam, on the top layer here, they use Power Run PB, which is the same foam that they have in shoes like the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 and the Pro 3. And then in the Convara Pro, they also have a three quarter length carbon fiber plate that runs right here in the platform. So it's a bit more of a modernized take on the Max Cushion Cruiser. The difference in the Convara Pro is that we have all this new tech introduced, which is making it even easier to run and take some of the work off your legs. Now, Saucony and other watchers of this video, I am not against super trainers. I'm gonna put up another video actually explaining why super trainers are so great and can help us improve our training. It's a great innovation for the sport of running. I think more runners and every runner who's tackling a marathon training block should be using a super trainer. But traditional non-plated running shoes like the Saucony Endorphin Shift still have a place in our lineup. And what concerns me is that we have runners who are using the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 as a daily trainer and running in that every day, where a shoe like the Shift is really what you should be running the majority of your miles in. You don't want every run to feel so easy that you don't have to build any of those muscles in your legs. A third of running is about consistency, a third is about that aerobic development, and the other third is about developing those muscles in your leg and throughout your body that help you run. So if brands like Saucony and others are removing some of these options on the market that are designed to help us build strength through recovery running and easy running, that is not a good thing for the sport. A shoe like the Endorphin Shift has a really important place in the Saucony lineup. I recommend this thing to a ton of runners. This is a great option for bigger runners, for taller runners, and some context on me, I'm 6'2", I have a lower cadence. I like these rockered, firmer shoes that aren't gonna be super bouncy, that aren't designed to snap off when I pick up the pace every time, but that can support the way I run. Not all runners love super soft max cushion shoes like the Asics Gel Nimbus and the Saucony Triumph. Those have places in the lineup as well, but the Shift is really one of those rare shoes on the market that has max cushion and a firmer feel. So if they kill this off, I don't think I'm personally gonna be replacing it with something like the Convara Pro. I'd be going to something like the Ultra via Olympus or maybe even the Puma Forever Run. Another thicker stacked shoe with firmer cushioning underfoot that doesn't have a plate. We need brands to pour development dollars into areas of the market that aren't just race day and that aren't just plated shoes. Super trainers are a great development because they're going to help us improve our training over time, but shoes like the Saucony Endorphin Shift 3 are also more crucial than ever to pair with those super trainer running shoes. So Saucony, please do not kill off the Endorphin Shift line. It is one of my all-time favorite shoes to run in, and it has a really important place in your lineup. I'm begging you, <laughs> thank you for watching, and as always, I appreciate the likes and subscribes. I'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of performance running.